Hey guys, welcome back to another of my tutorial videos, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a simple 2D maze game. So, first of all, you'll need to import a maze sprite. This is really easy to find, just search up maze on the internet, and then you'll be able to find one really easily. That's how I did it. Anyways. So, this cat is obviously too big for this project, so we gotta shrink it down. And, that might be good. It's still a little too big, so maybe one more time. And there, that's good enough. Okay, so first of all, we need to make the cat be able to move. Go to events, drag out when flag is clicked, go to control, forever, if, go to sensing, key, up arrow is pressed, then it will change Y. By 10. So that basically means when you press the up arrow, the cat will move up by 10. But 10 is a little too much. So let's just change it to, let's say, 3. Okay. And now you need to duplicate this code 4 times. And set it to O direction. So down, right, and left. Okay. And change the second one to negative three. And for the third and fourth one, you need to change it by x, not y. So switch this one to three, and this one to negative three. And now when you press the flag button, it should move. Yes. Okay. And now you need to make sure that the cat will start at the start every single time you press the flag button. So just drag out the go to x, y, and put it on top of the forever block. And now whenever you drag the cat to somewhere, and you press the flag button, the cat will go back to the maze. Great. Okay. And now, we need to make the maze able to interact with the cat. So to do that, first go to control, then drag out an if block, and make sure you put it into the first if, okay? Put it into the first if, then do if, go to sensing, touching color, and pick the color of the maze. For mine it's black, so just click on the maze and it will turn black. If touching color black, then it will undo its move. So go back to motion, and drag out change y by, and this time change it to negative 3, which is opposite of the top. So we're going to duplicate, oh sorry. We're going to duplicate this if block and put it under all of these. And make sure that it's opposite of the other one. So change this to 3. And the bottom Q needs to be x. So this one will be change x by negative 3. This one will be change x by 2. And there. Now when I press the flag button, it interacts with the maze. Great. But the cat looks a little weird just floating around the maze. So let's make some animations. The cat has already two costumes. The first one and the second one. So all we have to do is make it repeat doing that. And then it'll work. Really simple. Just go to looks. And go to next costume. And put it for every... Oh, sorry. Put it in for every single time it moves. And now when I press the flight button, the cat will move and the animation will play. Great. Okay. Now we need to make something trigger when the cat wins. So go to new sprite, just create your own new sprite. I'm going to make this line thicker, and I'm going to pick a different color. And just draw a small straight line. There. And now go back to scripts and make this a lot smaller, like probably 10%. That should be good. Just put it right there. And now you can do 
go back to cat. Now you can do if go to sensing touching and go to spray two. Let's switch this to finish line actually. Okay, so if touching finish line, then go to looks and let it say how low for two seconds. But let's change it to I want. Okay, now the game should work. If I restart, let's make it big screen and press start, the cat will start at the bottom. Um, if you make it through the maze, Okay, we're almost there. Then when it touches the red, it should say, I won. Great. Well, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what other videos you want me to make. Peace.